Hey now, Sagittarius. This is your reading coming into November. Please feel free to check out the um, buy sign readings that I did coming in just specifically for the eclipse season. We have an eclipse coming up on October 25th. Uh, that is a solar eclipse. That is going to bring in um, between that and the one on November 8th. This is bringing in like the the possibilities of lasting permanent change here for those of us that have really been working to purge things and bring new stuff in oh wow first out you've got the nurturer good for you this is a five card read and then i'm going to go ahead and expound on it this is going to go from um your present position all the way into you know possible um potential future right Okay, uh, what your desires are, um, what you should, what is unexpected, all right, what the immediate future is, and potential future outcome here. So, um, you know, right out of the gate here, okay, you have the nurturer number three. This is your present position, Sagittarius. I mean, would you look at this card here? This is freaking awesome. Okay, like you are, you know, you have taken all that sand and turned it into a pearl here. This is mind, body, spirit. This is the testament, a testament to the work that you've been doing here. Okay. All right. In your, um, that is present position. All right. This represents your you know, pretty much what you're looking for right now, your desires, okay? Uh, we've got the Ace of Swords in what is unexpected, what you don't see, okay? Um, your immediate future is, wow, Temperance in the reverse. Hey, one more card for Sagittarius, please. Two of Vessels, wow. Okay, so... Sagittarius, okay? What a spread here. Coming out in the um, potential outcome is the marriage card here. All right, again, for some of you, this could be you partnering with the divine, like coming into alignment with that. Alignment of divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, but let's get into it. Let's see what we got going on for you. Can you give me some cards on this nurture, please? I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these again. Got the Three of Cups coming up here for validation here. Okay. That's just amazing. That is a card of like huge manifestation there. All right. We have an Eight of Swords in the upright. So for some of you, um, I feel like you've been doing a lot of work. You've been seeking clarity and you are still feeling restricted. But have no fear. We've got that Ten of Pentacles coming in here. Okay. Uh, we have an Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so what this is basically telling me, all right, is you are you are in the process of harvesting all of your hard work here. And maybe that's why it's coming out, is that you need to recognize the potential that sits in front of you, Sagittarius. This is your energy. You've got all of this together. So can you keep it together, right? Okay, um, why are we feeling restricted here? You know, the, the swords represent, you know, it's like Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. It's intellect, reason, clarity, communication, okay? Notice you've got six that are balanced. Six is the card of growth and celebration. And then you've got two swords here that are crossed. Like, um, there's obstacles in your path. Know that whatever is happening, all right, you are gleaning the potential here for full harvest in spiritual aspects and financial aspects here. Um, we also have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Now, when it's in the upright, the Ace of Cups is a divine gift that is overflowing here. And what this is telling me in the reverse, all right, and this is a cup of love, which means divine, uh, it could be divine projects, divine alignment, something that has to do with relationships, artistry, um, you know, really what I'm getting from this kind of is that you are kind of putting on the brakes here yourself. Um, they're giving you these harvest cards 
to let you know to keep going. You want to turn this into the upright here. You need to tune back into spirit, tune into the divine, you know, get whatever you're stuck in over here, extricate yourself from that, shift that energy, okay? Your present desires here are, is the seven of vessels, okay? Which is also like the seven of cups here. So it's about seeing past the illusions. You've got some choices to make here. Um, and I really feel like, like if you notice, there's diamonds in one, there's a snake, there's a peace plant, there's clarity, there's a key, there's a candle, okay? There's cards here, all right? There's a lot of choices in front of you, and that might be what's triggering you into restriction here. That's covering you right now. You're being called. This is, you know, what represents your desires. I feel like you guys need to kind of make a decision here, okay? All right, let's see what we got going on here. We've got the Nine of Pentacles upside down in the reverse, Okay, we have the three of wands, mind, body, spirit again. We have the world in reverse and we have the two of cups in reverse. Okay, so basically by not making a decision, you are holding up your own, your own harvest here. Okay, um, you know, this is a card of having all your ducks in a row, feeling contented, um, knowing that, you know, you've got spirit in hand here, knowing that you're coming in right before the harvest. It's also a card of being tired, um, you know, like the darkness before the dawn kind of thing, like you're just waiting, like, where is it? Where is it? Type of a thing. Now, in the reverse, okay, I feel like you're not seeing this. Okay, something has you out of line here and you're not seeing this. You're not contented. You're not, um, you're not noticing that the divine is right here beside you offering these cups. Again, mind, body, spirit card. I feel like you're kind of binging back and forth here. I could do this. I could do this. I could do this. Where you should be getting into alignment that's what this is trying to tell you to do. You need to move into alignment here. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on opportunities that are coming your way. Like, it feels like you're seeing the world, um, instead of going out and seeing all the beauty and being grateful and, you know, just, um, I'll give you an example. Where I am, the leaves are changing and the whole world is lit up with all this color, right? I mean, it's just so beautiful. Okay, and you can be thankful just for small things and to get into that mindset of being grateful, being thankful, because um, I see that this alignment with spirit, again, we've got it in the reverse. Okay, so you're really being called to get into alignment here so that you can make the decisions that you need to make. Unexpectedly, um, in the upright, okay, this is the Ace of Swords, in the upright, this would be bringing you extreme clarity. The unexpected part of this is that you are confused, okay? I feel like this might be um, the first time where you didn't have like a um, an innate agenda, like an innate motivation to move forward. I think there's fear. I think we've gone through a lot of shifts and people are realigning and that makes them kind of tentative because they're trying to make choices based on the higher self, which is why you need to get into your practice, okay? Your daily practice or whatever that looks like for you, all right? In order to move forward here in a balanced way. This is a Cancer card, by the way, card of Cancers, okay? Notice he's got the boundaries up, but this is also about thinking, critical thinking, strategizing in order to make the best decision. It's also about, you know, moving forward between two extremes, okay? We all have extreme thinking. We think this way, we think this way. And it's about just moving forward, you know, maintaining that balanced track, just moving forward, okay, to bring in what needs to come in. Yeah, we've got the Queen of Wands energy coming in here. So I feel like you guys will move past this. For some of you, this could be someone in your life that is stepping out to help you. Um, help you re-evaluate and maybe rediscover your passion, okay? This is a very nurturing energy. Again, this does not have to be a person. This could be an energy, all right? Uh, this is about harvest. This is about, um, you know, creating a really great home life. 
um, you know, being very balanced, being very um, nurturing. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like this is someone coming in to help you. For others of you, I feel like this is the energy that you need to try and move into. This Queen of Wands energy. All right. Um, we also have the Five of Wands here. So I feel like this is bringing drama into your life. You're moving forward here. Okay, and stepping up your energy. Or again, this might be someone coming in for you. And this is going to cause drama and conflict. Okay, and this is going to cause confusion where there needs to be clarity here. So if you can get into alignment, do a daily practice, you know, breathe deep, whatever you have to do to ground yourself so that you can start to see that middle ground to move forward. All right, what is the balanced way forward here? That's going to pull you into this energy. All right, and um, it's going to help you to... Um, to come at this drama, whatever is coming in for you, or whether that's internally, okay, to deal with that drama in a from a higher perspective, right? Which is what you have starting in the present position. So know that there might be some drama coming in for you. You need to step back and deal with it in a higher perspective. The further, the more focused you are, the more decided you are moving forward, it allows the universe to come in and kind of clear some of that off for you. You're going to go um, into your life with confidence, self-agency, right? So yes, you can even decide, like, I'm not going to decide right now. Maybe now is not the time for you to decide. But if you move forward in a balanced way and you're, you're, you're still, you know, trying to attain some goals, you're still doing things to move forward, you know, eventually the path is going to come clear here for you. Okay? Just be aware that you might have some drama coming in here. Um, your immediate future, okay, is um, this is the temperance card. This is alchemy. It came out in the reverse. Uh, this tells me that um, you really, really need to keep your temper here. Okay? Whatever is coming in with this card here, with this drama, you need to keep your temper. You need to understand that you are manifesting. You can only control yourself and see things from that higher perspective here. All right. Let's get some cards coming out on that, please. Spirit. What do we have on? Thank you. We have the Emperor. We have the Upside Down Tower. Do we have one more card for Sagittarius, please? This is really interesting read here. All right, yeah, see, I have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, the Emperor here is bringing justice into this situation. Whatever this drama is that's coming in for you, know that there will be fairness, there will be justice on some level, in some realm. This is all going to work out. We don't always see the higher picture. In fact, this card shows us that we don't always know everything that's going on. So it's not about being right. It's, it's um, you know, whatever is done for the highest good here, okay? For some of you, I've mentioned this before, when these emperors and these empresses have been showing up, you know, the, the feeling that, that a lot of us are getting, um, you know, is that these are, these are ancestors, these are folks from the spirit realm that are kind of interceding in balancing out some of the situations that have been happening for, you know, in, across the world here. Okay, we've got the tower in reverse. This is a card of purging. This is a card of destruction. I feel like you guys are moving past this tower moment. Okay, you're starting to focus on your spiritual work. Okay, your alignment. All right, and this is going to bring this, okay, into the upright for you. Now, I'm going to tell you something I'm also getting right now with this drama card, the Emperor, and the Temperance upside down, the Tower upside down. Whatever person you may be dealing with here in this drama, this could be a representation of what's happening with them here, all right, that you're not expecting, okay? This could be something that's going on around you that could be, you know, somewhat volatile and a little bit sticky. I'm going to put it that way. All right. Know that your guides and your, your spirit guides are, are interceding for you. 
okay? And that you need to keep your temper. This person, I feel like this person is not going to keep their temper, that there might be some kind of a blow up or something um, like right in front of your face. I am seeing somebody uh, and I'm please, whoever needs to hear this, please understand, okay? That if somebody starts screaming at you, even if you don't think that this is who they normally are or something like that, you need to take a step back. You need to take care of yourself first. Okay. Um, I see, I really just see somebody in a really volatile situation. Okay. I'm also hearing for some of you, like, don't hesitate to call the police because this is just going to keep escalating. Okay. And, and this person is not stable and not taking care of themselves. And if they are violent with you, who knows what else is going to happen? Like by, by, now, again, this is not for everybody. Please, if it resonates with you, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay? Like, I'm seeing a domestic situation here. All right? Um, you know, there could be some mental health issues. There could be some substance abuse issues I'm hearing. Um, and, uh, you know, first thing, you need to protect yourself because I, I see violent. I see somebody really out of control here. Okay? Again, I shouldn't go on about this because this is not for everybody, but somebody needs to hear that you need to take care of yourself first and get yourself safe um, you don't want to call the police then you have to leave make sure that you leave the situation and don't engage okay until you know that person is completely calm i feel like this person possibly is going to be blaming this other person for something that has absolutely nothing to do with them they're just like a scapegoat okay so please be careful all right Thank you for letting me get that out. Thank you, Spirit, for that message. Um, by the way, if any of this resonates with you, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. That exchange of energy is extremely important. It also helps to get these messages out to people that benefit. It helps with the, the uh, algorithm on YouTube. All right, so I see you kind of doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, Sagittarius, okay, which is focusing on your spiritual growth here. All right, this eventually is going to turn in. We've got this Ten of Pentacles here, okay? So know that you have abundance coming through. You need to tap into divine love here. Turn that ace up into the upright. Make sure that you are tapping into alignment, coming into this other energy, taking care of yourself through this situation, all right? Because we've got the two of vessels here, which is a possible marriage card here. Okay. For some of you, um, I'm also hearing that if this is a court situation that you are concerned about, know that, um, there's going to be more drama before it's rectified and you have to take the higher ground here. You must take the higher ground. Somebody is going to intercede for you. It may not be right away. I'm actually hearing possibly within like 15 or 16, 17 days, you're going to get, there's going to be another answer that comes through. There's going to be delays, um, you know, things like that. So um, make sure that you are not the one using, losing your temper. That's how this is going to work out for you. Okay. So we've got this marriage card coming in here and it is in the upright. Um, it's a lovely card, right? With the divine just swirling around in there. Um, this could be a potential soulmate that's coming in for you. Okay. I see that you folks have been going back and forth. This is in the, um, reversed. Let's see what else I've got. I got an idea here that you guys are coming through this, uh, really well. And yeah, you are making decisions here. Okay. You are, you have learned how to self-regulate. You've tamed your inner beast. You've learned how to take how to deal with this drama and all of this stuff in a healthy way here. And this is going to lead here. Can I get oh, runaway cards? They flew. Give me one second. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, King of Pentacles, Six of Swords here. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically what's happening here, okay, is, you know, you might be in a period of indecision here. 
this is going to make you boss up and this drama that's coming in for you is going to solidify your path it's going to if you give it the opportunity it will give you the opportunity to say well at least i know i don't want this so i'm moving forward this way more into alignment with your soul's purpose with the divine okay so you stop going back and forth you boss up here with the strength card and self, do the self-regulation. It's like proving once again that coming into alignment and doing the self-regulation is exactly what needs to happen, right? If you can do nothing else, uphold the frequency, right? Okay, um, I see for some of you, this is bringing in a King of Pentacles here, okay? Uh, this is um, soulmate potential, okay? Um, and he is looking forward. Okay, this, this is all coming into the future. It's going to help you with clarity to move into calmer waters. And I really believe, again, that you have spirit team that is helping you to do this. So let's get some more clarification here. All right. Can you tell me about this Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, please? This is exciting. Um, a lot of the signs are doing this. You know, coming into November... Again, we're going to be in eclipse season. It's going to bring up, you know, final opportunities uh, for things to move forward here. Okay, and by the way, these are all major arcana. I am not reading them in the reverse. So you've got the emperor and the empress here. I just pulled these as uh, clarification cards here. Thank you, angels. So you're, you know, the potential here... When I asked for validation or clarification on the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles, you've got the Empress popping out here, which is, you know, the significant other to this Emperor. This has the potential, this partnership that you are coming into has the potential to be everything that you've ever wanted and more. Okay? Excuse me, I had two cards pop here. Oh, this is interesting. I've got the devil and the lovers here. Okay. So what this is showing me, basically, everything that you are going through here, learning how to come into alignment, recognizing that that is the true way forward, even if you don't know exactly what you're choosing here. Okay. If you choose the light and just stay tuned in, if you, if ever, if you can do nothing during the day, but just hold the frequency, Okay, hold that higher perspective. That is going to keep that is going to keep you out of that lower energy and that's the bait here. Like do you want to be enslaved to, you know, all this past energy and all this past, you know, behavior cycles or do you want to self-regulate and actually have the potential for fulfilling a relationship here? Okay? That's why you're going through. That's why this drama this situation is coming in for you, okay? It's to solidify your choice, okay? And, you know, you might have a minute where you don't feel great or whatever. That's fine. But what are you putting out there in the world? Yeah, see, we have the temperance card in the upright, okay? We have the ace of swords, clarity, validation, tower card, and the magician. So this is the story. You have the choice, between freedom, like in the light alignment, or staying in those old behavior patterns and doing what might be comfortable, but is actually makes you more miserable. Okay? You are making this choice here. And what I see is that you're, you are having the temperance. You are doing the alchemy. You are keeping your temper. You are staying balanced here. The universe is calling you and giving you clarity. Like, you're going to see all this happening as it happens. This is what I'm seeing. is like somewhere in the middle of this drama, a light is going to slip on and you're going to stand back almost like you're watching a movie because you've seen this before, okay? And you're going to be like, oh my God. And it's just going to go ding, 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 ding. And you're going to be able to, to disengage, okay? To the point where I'm not saying disassociate. I'm saying mindfully and intentionally pull your energies into that higher perspective okay this is going to be a rebirth tower moment this is the chance for you to make lasting changes and really start to manifest what you want here 
okay? This is a beautiful read, Sagittarius. This is incredible. Um, let's see if I can get a timeline on this for you. 